Uh, in this video, you will study about the intensity and the number of photons emitted from a source, a source of electromagnetic radiations per unit time. So, what is the intensity? So, basically, intensity is defined as number of photons incident on a surface per unit area per unit time normal to the surface. <coughs> so, suppose we have a source of electromagnetic radiation. So, well, this is the source. This is one source of electromagnetic radiations. Suppose electromagnetic radiations are emitted from this source of electromagnetic radiation in the in all the possible directions. And suppose we have one surface, or we can construct one surface. Suppose this is a spherical surface. This is one of the spherical surface. So this is one spherical surface. So electromagnetic radiations. It will come out from this source of light and it will be incident on this spherical surface. Suppose the total energy incident on this surface is E and suppose total surface area is equal to A and the total time for which the energy is incident on the surface is T. Then the intensity I it is defined as E divided by A divided by T. That is energy incident on the surface per unit area per unit time normal to the surface. Now, so we have the definition of intensity. Intensity I is equal to E, that is energy. A is the surface area and T is the time. Energy is basically equal to work done. So we can write down W divided by T divided by A. Now work done per unit time is known as power. So P divided by A. Where P is the power of the source. So basically P is the power of the source power of the source we can take and suppose the wavelength of the light or the wavelength of the radiation emitted from this source is lambda lambda is equal to wavelength now you can what is the unit si unit of power the si unit of power is what and the si unit of area is meter square so si unit of intensity is equal to what per meter square now we will calculate the number of photons emitted from this source of electromagnetic radiation per unit time. Suppose we know about the energy carried by one photon. One photon carries the energy E is equal to H nu. If there are n number of photons, if total number of photons E is equal to H nu, it is the energy carried by one photon. If there are n number of photons that are emitted from this source of radiation, if n is equal to total number of photons emitted from this source of radiation, total number of photons, then total energy carried out by the, this number of n number of photons, it will be equal to E is equal to n into h nu, where h nu is the energy carried by one photon, since we have n number of photons, so total energy it will be equal to n into h into nu. So we have one equation, we can take this equation as 1 and this equation as 2. Now we can replace the value. We have the value I is equal to intensity E divided by, sorry, energy E divided by per unit area, per unit time. The energy per unit time it is also known as power divided by area. Now we can replace the value of energy. Total energy carried out by n number of photons, it will be equal to capital N into h into nu where h is the Planck constant and nu is known as the frequency divided by a into t is equal to p divided by a so a will be cancel out so we can solve this equation so we will have uh, we will have the equation n into h into nu divided by t it is equal to t now n is the number of photons and t is the time so we can define this quantity as number of photons emitted from the source of radiation per unit time. So I can represent by small n. So small n into h into nu it will be equal to p. So now we can calculate the value of a small n. Small n it will be equal to p divided by h into nu. Now we have the relationship between frequency and wavelength. Frequency and wavelength. Frequency into wavelength is equal to speed of light. That is equal to C. So frequency it will be equal to C by lambda. We can replace this value. So n it will be equal to P divided by H. And we can replace the value of frequency. So it will be equal to C by lambda. So n will be equal to P. Lambda will be in the greater. 
divided by h by c. We can replace the value of h and c. h is equal to 6.63, 4 into 10 to the power minus 34, and c is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, and p into lambda after calculating, after solving this equation, you will get 5 into 10 to the power 24 into p into lambda. So this is the expression of energy emitted from a source of radiation, or sorry, energy number of photons emitted from a source of electromagnetic radiation per unit time. So we have the formula n is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 24 into p into lambda, where p is the power of the source and lambda is the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation or radiation emitted from the source. So applying this formula we can calculate the numerical or we can solve the numericals. There are so many numericals in the NCRT based upon the direct formula n is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 24. So this is the basic idea about the intensity and the number of photons emitted from a, a source of radiation per unit time.